What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. The 2023 WWE Panini Prism Checklist has went live and it is time to take a look at it. I'm not going to go through and read every single name for you guys because, well, quite frankly, I don't want to waste my time. But I am going to point out some cool things. Now, we have went over the pictures that were on the sell sheet with the undercard, the red, I mean the gold, the black, everything like that. Let's see how many parallels we have. We have Blue Wave Prisms, Green Prisms, Hyper, Ice, Ruby Wave, Silver, Undercard, White Sparkle, Red to $299, Blue to $199, Premium Box to $199, Purple to $149, Orange to $99, Undercard Red to $99, Teal to $49, Green Pulsar to $25, Mojo to $25, Undercard Blue to $25, Blue Shimmer first off the line, $11, Gold to $10, Undercard Gold to $10, Lucky Envelopes to 8, Gold Shimmer first off the line to 5, and Black 1 of 1. Holy crap, that is a lot of parallels. That is kind of overwhelming. So it looks like we have the addition of Blue Wave this year, Undercard, uh, or the Undercard Regular, Red, Blue. The Blue Shimmer is now out of 11. The undercard gold and the gold shimmers are now out of five instead of out of three that is oh that's that's rough each undercard box only has one base variation as we see with the hollywood hulk hogan here and the becky lynch so it's gonna be rough man we talked about the inserts legends of the hall covers those immortalized in the hall of fame Geared to the captivating talent, prismatic interests, highlights wrestlers with impressive showmanship. We saw that last year. Ring royalty is another place to find all-time greats. The undercard boxes have exclusive versions of select inserts as well. Holy crap. Be on the lookout for the Ultra Rare Color Blast. We talked about this already. Cody Rhodes has a Color Blast in this set. and It's going to be red and blue with the white background. So that is about as American as one can get. But you guys know what I like to talk about, what I like to collect, and it is the autographs. So, the throwback signature set pays tribute to the 2012 Prism design, which was the first year for Prism. We have Iconic Rivals, both top pairings as a dual autograph set. We got that last year. More autographs appear via Sensational Signatures, featuring current stars. Some of the autographs have exclusive undercard editions, like this Cora Jade undercard gold to 10. Who isn't going to want that? Come on. All right. Two autographs per box, 22 prisms, 12 inserts. One per pack. Two prisms per pack. Okay. So, the base set. Let's go through. And I'm, going, I'm only going to point out people that we didn't get last year or if there's a name change. It is once again a 200-person base set. But we're going to get through it. Let's do the ver the horizontals first. First, you have Cody Rhodes, Idris Anofe, Luke Gallows, Jagger Reed with a name change, Carl Anderson. I don't remember Tamina. Yeah, Tamina was in it last year. Elton Prince has a name change. Let's see. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Tommaso Ciampa got his first name. Did he have his first name last year? I think he had his first name last year. Ludwig Kaiser with a name change. Alba Fire with a name change. And we keep on going until we see... I don't think Macho Man had a card last year in Prism. Roxanne Perez gets her first Prism card. We have Giovanni Vinci, who was Fabian Eichner last year. We have... I don't know. I think Malik Blade was in it last year. Not entirely sure. I know I'm the NXT guy, but I, I forget. Damon Kemp, Gable Stevenson's brother, is getting one. He's number 50 in the set. X-Pac gets a first card. Ava Rain's Prism debut card. This might have the rookie card logo on it. And for those not familiar, that is The Rock's daughter. Top Dalla has a card. Yokozuna has a card. Mansoor has the name change. Uh, let's keep on. Ulyssa Leon has her first Prism card. Ariana Grace, that is Santina Morella's daughter's card. Emma has a card. Butch is no longer Pete Dunn, sadly. 
Isla Dawn has her first NXT card. Ashante the Adonis. Maxine Dupree. This is uh, Katana Chance instead of Casey Catanzaro. This is this is looking promising. Vader has a card. That's pretty cool. And I think that is it for the first 100. But let's go and check the second 100. B-Fab, Tatum Paxley. For those of you that don't know, Tatum Paxley actually has a really, really bright future, I believe. Uh, definitely collect her. Sol Ruka, also Quincy Elliott, but Sol Ruka is one that everybody's going to be chasing. No doubt about it. Karrion Cross has a card. Mr. Perfect. That's going to be cool, depending on the picture they choose for him. Stax, along with Tony D'Angelo, is going to have a card. Eliza Alexander. I do not know who that is. Sangha's going to have a card. Thea Hale from Chase U has one. That's pretty freaking sick. Uh, let's see. I don't remember if... Yeah, Akira Tozawa had one last year. Mr. T has one this year. Cruz del Toro. I think his name was Raul Mendoza last year. I think, I think. Io Sky instead of Io Shirai. Kiana James, she is NXT Women's Tag Team Champion at the time of recording with Fallon Henley, which we have not seen on here yet, unless I missed her. So, I think she has a bright future too, to be honest with you. Robert Stone has a name change to Mr. Stone. Braun Strowman has his first. Trick Williams, he debuted in Select last year. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Kit Wilson with a name change. Amari Miller is new. JD McDonough instead of Jordan Devlin. But I don't remember Jordan Devlin having a card last year. Yeah, he... Um, I, don't, I don't know. Bray Wyatt. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, I'm glad to see that Braun Breaker is vertical this year. Yeah, he's vertical this year. Okay. Let's see. Rip Fowler with a name change. Godfather is new to the set. Nikita has her first Prism card. And Bubba Ray Dudley has one. That's that's pretty surprising, honestly. Oro Mensa has his first. Um, Valhalla, since she returned, she has a card. Axiom with the name change. And no Fallon Henley. Which is pretty shocking, considering she's been in NXT for a while. Huh, Okay. Then there's the Base Prism's Undercard Variations. Now, these are pretty freaking sick. The horizontal ones, you have Stardust instead of Cody Rhodes, Deacon Batista, Tommaso Ciampa, which I don't know which version of that it's going to be, Rocky Maivia instead of The Rock, 1-2-3 Kid instead of X-Pac, I'm, th I'm assuming it's a throwback John Cena, you got Cactus Jack, Scott Hall, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, and Edge. For the vertical card, you have Diesel, Elias' brother, Ezekiel, Brock Lesnar, the Shockmaster, which, who is he up here? He was Typhoon. That's going to be pretty freaking cool if you ask me. That's actually going to be really sick to have a Shockmaster card. I was talking about that last night on a podcast with my buddies, and that is going to be pretty freaking sick. Papa Shango, Mean Mark Callis. That's awesome. That's the Undertaker back in the day. Johnny Gargano. Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Stunning Steve Austin, and Randy Orton. And these are examples of what this Hulk Hogan card is right here. Base variations. There's only 20 of them. That's pretty freaking cool. Champion Signatures set. This was a hot set last year. Everybody was a major name except for Damian Priest and Shinsuke Nakamura. But you could argue those two. Let's see who we have. We have Liv Morgan. Braun Strowman, Gunther, Braun Breaker, which is going to be gigantic. Bianca Belair, Roxanne Perez, her and Braun are two top chasers this year. I don't care what anybody says, that's what it is. Jay Uso, which is kind of surprising. The Miz, Jimmy Uso, and Drew McIntyre. It's interesting they took two spots of the autographs and put them for the Usos instead of having them like on the other set list, but... It is what it is. Then we have the iconic Rivals Duel autographs. We have Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey, Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, Undertaker and Mankind, Triple H and Batista, Champa and Gargano, which if you pull one, let me know, please. Trish Stratus and Lita, Kane and X-Pac, 
AJ Styles and John Cena, and then the Montreal Screwjob, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels Dual Auto. That's going to be cool. That's going to be so cool. Legendary autographs. I'm, I'm going to try and point out people that weren't in the set last year or haven't been in the set yet. Eric Bischoff is actually a really cool addition. Iron Sheik is really cool. I don't remember him being in a set. Dude Love's going to be cool. Diamond Dallas Page is a good pickup. Um, And JBL is a really cool one. Then we have the Sensational Signatures. This is kind of the lower card people, I guess you could say. There are 99 of them, unless some have gotten... No, what? Okay, well, yeah. It says 99, it goes down to 100. Some of them don't, they get cut. Let's go through and see what we have for the first time. Nova is a new name. He was in Immaculate, but now he's in there. Leilani Kai is a new name. Bubba Ray, Spike Dudley, Dory Funk, Haku, Rockin' Robin, Brian Nobbs, Juventud Guerrera, Stevie Richards, Stan Hansen, The Sandman, Teddy Long, Mosh, Thrasher, Jerry Sags, Terry Runnels, Blue Maney, Al Snow, Tom Pritchard, Johnny Rods. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of legend. That's 20 legend names right there. But then look how many we have from NXT. And some of these are their first autographs in product. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. For the new names, you have Ariana Grace, Stax, Kiana James, Tatum Paxley, Thea Hale. B-Fab is new, but she's not NXT. Maxine Dupree, Top Dollar, Amari Miller, Andre Chase, Brooks Jensen, Damon Kemp, Dante Chen, Duke Hudson, Idris Anofe, Fallon Henley, Electra Lopez, Josh Briggs, Ma Malik Blade, Mr. Stone, Nathan Frazier, Nikita Lyons, and Roxanne Perez, and Tiffany Stratton. That alone right there is some gigantic names, and we haven't even got through the list. Like We have Johnny Gargano's first autograph since being back. Solo Sokoa's third autograph, I think? Like... Oh, it's 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 all good right now. It's really good. Another Gable auto. Eh. I don't really care. Bray Wyatt auto in prison. Holy heck. Ava Rain's first auto in WWE product. Cora J, Gigi, JC. That's a lot of good things going on. Then we go to the Superstar autograph set. 40 cards, just like last year. Um, the standouts here appear to be Cody Rhodes um I mean you got Becky you got Seth Rollins nobody standing out too much to me from this set I mean it's cool for Rhea Champa as a personal favorite Dakota Kai for me Alexa's in this set again nothing too spectacular but we have throwback signatures there are nine of them and I don't think this was a thing. No, this wasn't a thing last year. Stone Cold, Taker, Triple H, Ronda Rousey, which shouldn't be a throwback. Batista, Roman Reigns, shouldn't be a throwback. Brock Lesnar, Hulk Hogan, John Cena. And then they are going to be in the premium box set. The Color Blast, you have Bray Wyatt, Braun Breaker, Edge, Cody Rhodes, Undertaker, Ronda Rousey, Hulk Hogan, Roman Reigns, Triple H, Randy Orton. Come on. That Bray, Braun, and Cody people are going to be chasing, and Roman by default. You guys know this. I'm not going to take the time and go through all the insert checklists. I don't think that's why you guys are here. But uh, it's 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 going to be pretty freaking sick, honestly. This is going to be a really good release, and first off the line comes out tomorrow. So get ready for it. It's going to be hot, and I hope you guys are ready for this product. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, take it easy. Thanks.